I call my power back to me from every person, place, entity, from every space, portal, time, and dimension. Hey, Sagittarius. Hi, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, welcome to Karma Light Readings. If you're new, welcome. Please make sure you subscribe. Ooh, <coughs> subscribe and hit that notification bell. If at any time, Sag, you resonate with this reading, go ahead and hit that like button so that we can have that exchange of energy. I'm just putting on a little bit of this clear joy uh, intention body oil. You guys can get it on my website if you're interested. So um, I've already said my blessing and prayer. It is in the description box below as well as a link to my website if you're uh, wanting to know what the prayer is. I'm going to jump right into it now with your reading. Um, I will say this because it kind of caught me off guard. But as I was tapping into your energy, um, it was very, it was very sexual. So I don't know if there's something because I know I've tapped into some energy with you guys before in regards to like sexual trauma or we were healing something. Um, it, but it was just interesting because it really caught me off guard. Very, very passionate, like, you know, fiery desiry energy so i don't know what's going on so let's um let's tap into this and see please which messages we have for sagittarius all right you have the page of swords here so there's something that you're keeping an eye on or watching somebody could be watching you as well we'll, we'll tap into that energy that's coming towards you is the page of cups so there's somebody's watching you you may not be aware of this there's also somebody in your group somebody around you that's running back and telling this person your business that's why the crow is sitting there all right the intentions of this energy is the hanged man it's going to create some type of pause Ooh, the lesson and guidance is the two of wands so needing to make a decision here It's going to help you make it. Why are you so scared to commit to a decision? All right, we'll get into that. All right, what can Sag uh, expect here? The Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so there is some type of new opportunity coming towards you, possibly in the name of money or work. All right, you have the Eight of Pentacles with the Two of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Tower. Queen of Wands, the death, Ten of Wands. Okay, so you're really, really, really focused on trying to work through some type of blockage or something that's keeping you stuck. It's a it's some type of wound here with the Five of Pentacles, like a lack wound, because the Five of Pentacles is spiritual poverty for one. Are you, you, you're trying to prevent a tower moment from happening or somebody else. It's like you're working so hard to keep something hidden. Okay, I don't know if this is you or someone else, right? And so, because this is on the bottom, so this is general energy, but I'm also just a messenger. But there's somebody here who puts in a lot of work, a lot, a lot of work to hide everything that they're lacking and that may work on the outside. The song that's playing right now is I Am by CC Winans. I suggest you listen to the lyrics because it taps right into this. The most powerful words that come out of your mouth are what you say right after I am. And that's also what you think and how you portray yourself to people. So there's somebody here who has like a major, major false identity. Like everyone that they are associated with, they don't really tell them the truth of who they are. And what that ends up doing is creating that whoever's doing that, it creates in the long run, all that energy stacked up a major explosive tower moment. It's like the house of cards comes crumbling down. So somebody here has avoided and avoided and avoided this process of truly reflecting and bringing balance into their inner wounds and what they're lacking and why they operate from a space of lack right why do i operate like this why am i because whatever this person is doing it's toxic to them themselves and they might not believe it or know it yet because karma hasn't came yet it doesn't mean it's not coming sometimes things can go on for years before it catches up to somebody by then who knows how much has been stacked up right 
All right, so you have the Page of Swords here. So there's been some type of, I really truly feel like there's been some type of communication that happened behind your back or somebody came and told a message to somebody else and it's, it's going to cause, it may have caused some type of uh, confrontation. Clarify please this Page of Swords energy around Sagittarius. Somebody is watching you. King of Cups, okay. And the lovers. This could be somebody you're in a relationship with, somebody who has emotions for you. You have Gemini energy here. You also have um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be, but it's here. You have Pisces here too, again. Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. Why do I feel like somebody came in, dumped off, some words at somebody like there could have been a third party here especially with the queen of wands and then walked away and then they cause an ending or like a betrayal was revealed because of whatever this person said like oh let me just stir something up real quick if you're in a connection somebody's watching that connection they're in their feelings about it clarify please Balancing act and throwing shade. I literally cannot make this up. I just hit some type of nerve on my wrist in a really weird way. Look at this, envious. Told you. They're watching this connection. Someone just came in and dropped off some, some information to cause a problem. That's what this energy is around you. All right, the energy that's on its way towards you is the Page of Cups with Temperance. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I take back what I said. Um, like this person wants to come back in and try to bring some type of peace and balance. The person who threw the shade, I feel like your focus is now elsewhere because you're trying to put a fire out somewhere else. Clarify this page of cups with temperance for the energy that's on its way. Ten of cups. Yeah, you're trying to restore some type of harmony Domestic harmony. This could happen in your love relationship or something within your home life. And so the energy that's coming towards you is an opportunity to kind of start fresh, to start new within a connection. But I would be careful because the damage has been done. The devil is here. So it's like this person, even with the hanged man as the intentions of this energy, it's like, Something has to happen where, where there's a pause and a stop on this devil energy, this toxic energy, right? And then I, that was the five of pentacles. So let's see, clarify please this page of cups, temperance. temperance. It's like somebody promises something. It's like I said about the facade. This page of cups is like, no, I love you. I promise you, let's heal this. But it's coming through as a page. It's like, I don't know how, how committed they are to doing this. The time is now. It's like now or never. Yeah, the time is now. No. And then honesty. It's now or never. Somebody has to be really honest in a situation immature emotions and soulmate connection energy cleansing yeah that's what i was saying somebody somebody needs to heal themselves because they're not aligning you're in a soulmate connection but somebody's operating from a space of lack all right the intentions of this energy that's coming towards you this temperance and this this offer to heal something it's it's coming in to enlighten you but the hanged man puts a pause so although this offer comes in, this might be an opportunity where a pause takes place because somebody needs to heal themselves. Clarify the hanged man. Judgment. Yeah, somebody needs time to reflect. Judgment is about tapping into oneself and really connecting with, judge, is judging yourself instead of the outside energy. See what I'm talking about? Look at this two, two of cups and then you have the ace of pentacles again. There's a connection here that means a lot to you. But somebody has to reckon with themselves in regards to their behavior. 
and really end something called judgment here. Yeah, the hermit, Virgo energy. Wow, this is deep, deep, deep solitude. Somebody is really grasping at straws here and trying to figure out who they are, what do they represent, what do I stand for? Um, and that's a process, let me tell you, because you, we, when we go through those phases and those parts of healing, that self-reflection to see who you are and what you've been doing and or creating for yourself and others can be quite shocking and painful, right? Because we don't always see ourselves that, that way until we sit and, and look at it. Um, there's a loss that is coming in, a pause. See how it says no? And then I've got all these cards that represent a pause and ending. There's a loss that's coming in that is gonna hurt, but I feel like the purpose of it is to heal you. It's gonna enlighten you. Yes, hurt can heal you. Somebody could be texting you. Somebody wants to withdraw. Yeah, temp but see, it's temporary. Temporary setback. A transformation has to occur. So this is to help you gain strength. You have time apart, but then you also have happy outcome. This pause needs to happen so somebody can have this moment of self-reflection and really work on themselves. Because these are some pretty big demons that I feel like this person is battling. Yeah, see, feeling alone, but somebody needs to gain a better perspective on themselves or else they're never gonna be able to understand why they're behaving this way. The two of wands is the lesson and the guidance. Decisions are difficult, but they're necessary. Making healthy, smart decisions for your mental health. Yeah, death. The lesson and the guidance is to make the decision to end this so you can transform it because death is about transformation. It's the ending of one way of being and becoming a new. And that's exactly what's happening. So the lesson is teaching you how to end something when you know it's toxic. And the guidance is taking that ending and transforming it into a new beginning and transforming yourself, allowing yourself to shed from the past, to shed from whatever toxic energy has been holding you back, right? Letting go of what needs to, to, to be gone. The moon. I told you somebody is not who they say they are. There's a lot of hidden secrets, a lot of hidden emotions, a lot of dark energy that needs to come to the surface so that this confusion and this illusion can go away. Like somebody complicates their life and it's because of these hidden wounds and traumas that they're choosing not to heal. And so the universe is saying, okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you heal it. I'm going to give you a pause on everything. Harvest. But when you go in there and you, it's, it's, it's all in how you see it. When you go through this pause, Sagittarius, you can receive this harvest by transforming and letting go of what needs to be released, all right? It's not personal and show more respect and commitment coming. So this solitude is not personal. It's really, we, we have to look at everybody as ourselves. Everybody's going through something. Everybody's got to learn something. Everybody's got to heal from something. Um, and I feel as though there's a situation here where maybe this person is realizing they need to show more respect or vice versa. Yes, yeah, says open your heart and low vibes. It's really hard to be vulnerable when somebody has an energy block or, or low vibes, but the harvest is going to be worth it. The transformation in the process. Maybe you don't end up with this person. We're about to find out what's coming, but what you gain for yourself, the growth, the wisdom, and the knowledge that you're going to gain for yourself through healing this is it's it's priceless. What you can expect to happen is the Ace of Pentacles. So there's there's a new opportunity that's coming. Possibly work. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Wow. This is a really great opportunity. A big achievement. Something that you're not expecting here. Yeah, your luck is changing. Yeah, it's a big celebration. Eight of Cups. So you could be traveling. Yeah, you're going to have a decision about walking away. This is going to be what brings in the separation. I think there's some type of offer coming towards you that you're not going to be able to give up on. And it's going to create some type of temporary setback. 
Confusion. Holy Spirit, please clarify. Success is yours. So you see what I'm saying? Time apart. Time apart is what Spirit is saying is needed to help you gain success in this situation and in your clarity. And, okay? It's going to help you work on whatever needs to be worked on. Holy Spirit, please show me. And then you have Real Love by Pastor Mike Jr. All right, let's see. We need a light coat for Sagittarius, please, Holy Spirit. Thank you. All right. Wow. It says, Anami, finding and developing self-love. Egoless love of self can be elusive for many people. Somewhere along the way, it was misplaced, forgotten, hidden, or suppressed. Now, when we want it back, we can't remember where we put it. It can't have gone far, we exclaim. Like losing the keys to our home, losing self-love is uncomfortable. It causes tremendous upset and distress. Fortunately, love hasn't gone far. It is still within us like a hidden treasure. To locate it, we need to act. Our actions of self-love will begin the process of bringing our love forward once again. We must be conscious of our thoughts, behaviors, and actions. What am I thinking? What am I saying? What am I doing? Be aware of the answers to these questions. Ask yourself, would love do this? If the answer is no, then whatever you are doing is not conducive to finding your love. Self-love is connection, consciousness, and action from the heart. It feels limitless. It is a joy so full that all of our needs are met. It is soft and sweet, yet powerful and confident. It is important not to mistake self-love for arrogance. Arrogance is the ego, acting without direction from the heart. And here is the light code for you, Sagittarius. I'm sending you guys so much love, and I look forward to hearing from you. Bye.